Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for viewing my blog. I really hope that you'll learn some new information today. In my blog today, I will be discussing the seven essential pillars stated by Eric Schillinger for digital leadership. I will also be explaining the different pillars and defining each pillar. The seven pillars I'll be discussing today are student engagement and learning, school environment, professional learning and growth, communication, public relations, branding, and opportunity. The first pillar I'll be talking about is student engagement and learning. Students should be given the time to be able to understand technology. In this time, the students will need to practice and also be tested on knowledge of the technology they are learning. For technology to be taught and understood by students, technology needs to be incorporated in their everyday life. For example, if a student is using technology to explore the internet and learn more about a particular topic, then a student needs to be given the time to learn step-by-step -step to do that action. Then after taught step-by-step, -step, then they will be need to give time by themselves under supervision to do that. The second pillar discussed by Schillinger is school environment. This is an important pillar to help students feel comfortable and safe while learning different aspects of technology. For students to feel comfortable, the environment needs to be open for new ideas. If students are in the environment that they feel can be open, then they will be themselves and they will be more inclined to explore new ideas and try new things. The third pillar explored is professional learning and growth. In addition to the pillar above, professional learning and growth helps students and also adults. Technology is a huge part of the world today. Throughout the day life, a person can use technology about 10 hours in a given day. Technology allows people to stay in touch with each other, but also helps students understand how technology should be used. If students are taught the proper way to use technology and use it professionally, then the use of technology that is seen as negative can be changed in a positive view. The fourth pillar, explained by Schellinger, is going to be communication. In today's society, the form of communication has changed. Instead of communicating only important ideas and topics, the society today has shares everything, from important topics and ideas to things that are less important. Communication should be used by people and also students to help other people understand different topics and ideas. The fifth pillar is going to be in digital leadership is public relations. Through public relations, we are able to share different information to different people throughout the world. We are able to share accomplishments and problems. In today's society, maybe people are able to receive information hourly and even up to the minute. This receive, receiving of information so fast allows students and adults to explore connections with information in their daily lives. Also, public relations allows students to write their own stories. The sixth pillar is going to be branding. Branding is how a school or class or a group of students work together. If a school works together to have a common goal, then it is the branding of the school also known as the mission statement. Also included in the branding can be the honor and trust and pride of the school and its students. The seventh and last pillar is opportunity. In education, students and schools need opportunities to explore their understanding. For schools or students, they need to have plans of action to allow growth for its students and school for trying new things. For example, for students to learn more about college, they need to go visit colleges. One opportunity might also be to take those school students to colleges and let them walk around and understand what's going on. Other opportunities consist of clubs, organizations, along with internships that allow students to have hands-on with things they're interested in. Schools and students need to have more ways of learning new opportunities, hands-on and even online. While reading and exploring each pillar, I began to think more about my life and how technology is such a big part, and a lot of these are evident in my life. I've been able to dive more into understanding my life and more technology became poor, important in my life, work, and personal. Then I began to look up Bible verses about more technology. I came across Bible verse 1 Corinthians 12, 21 that states that I cannot say to the hand, I do not need you, and the head cannot say to the feet, I do not need you. Technology has become such a big part of our lives, and on this day, we need to make sure that we're using it to our best abilities and not making it our idols.